My wife and I and a friend of ours, Joan Clement, founded that in 2006. So uh, when I first went into uh, studying physics originally and then climate change in, in the 1970s, I really didn't expect this kind of dramatic change uh, and impact on species that we've seen. Um, we expected some warming, but we didn't expect it to be this dramatic. And over time, I increasingly felt like, really, we need to do something about it beyond just researching it. And uh, I can't do something about the whole planet, but maybe I can do something about what's going on right around here. So uh, there was a report released in 2005 by the Chesapeake Bay Foundation on the state of the bay. And they highlighted uh, the, the uh, decrease in oysters, uh, which means the water isn't as clean, the lack of oxygen in the upper layers of the water, the impact of that on fish in the bay, uh, and so on. And we thought, well, we really need to be organizing around these things and trying to do something. Um, we also heard about the bog turtle, which is a small hand-sized turtle that used to be quite common throughout the Chesapeake watershed, all the river drainage basins and that's now one of the 25 most endangered turtles in the world. So we chose the, uh, an outline of the bog turtle as our logo for CHEERS. CHEERS is Chesapeake Education, Arts, and Research Society. So we kind of do some of education, some arts, and some research and uh, work with other people in the, in the watershed area to do projects that address some of the impacts of the warming.